Hello everyone and welcome to Little Nightmares 2. We're finally getting around to playing the sequel after playing the first game about six, seven months ago now at this point. Uh, and it's, it's finally time to revisit uh, the second game. And I'm super excited to get into this one. Uh, this was actually uh, the winner of my most recent Patreon poll. Uh, we chose out of a selection of a few horror-related horror titles uh, to get back into some games that were a little bit shorter uh, after playing some longer games on the channel. And Little Nightmares 2 um, took, the, took the top spot. So we're going to be playing this one and it's about time. I think it's definitely about time. Uh, the first, the first game was um, centered around, I believe, the, the the character, the child named Six, and we were escaping the the giant sort of iron prison that we were in, um, and managed to to get out. But it was a it was a very like slowly more and more uh, horrific as it like uh, came up to the to the ending and then and then we get out and then there's the the DLC uh, for the first game as well playing as the uh, uh, the runaway the runaway child uh, and who does not have a very happy ending uh, <laughs> he does not have a very happy ending uh, unfortunately uh, but now we're playing the second game and I know nothing about it which is just how I like it uh, because everything is going to be a surprise. So I know, yeah, nothing about Little Nightmares 2 except for the fact that it is the second game in the <laughs> Little Nightmares series. So we're going to start a new game and we've got to just jump right in and, uh, and see what happens. I'm not sure if this is, this game is connected to the previous one. I'm not sure if it's like sort of being treated as a new story in the same world. We'll just have to find out. Side. Look at my little dude! With that bag! I wish I could zoom in, it actually looks it actually looks really cool. Digging that coat. Did we come out of the TV? Or were we woken up by the TV? Interesting. Okay, so we've got like one of those doors with the eye on it from the first game. And then we're woken up in a forest. It actually looks this looks gorgeous. All right, let me just, I need to just readjust, get used to everything. Right, I have the ability to do a bit of a sprint, ability to jump. Ooh. I have an ability to call out. Nice, crouching. Okay. Ooh, okay, interesting. I wonder how that's going to come into play. Okay, so we're playing as Bag Boy. That's how uh, that's our our character. So the last game was six. This is Bag Boy. Oh, nice. Okay, so Death Stranding. Got it. Just what I just what I like. Right on. Straightforward. I love my little hidden tree trunk cave. Let's go. So the way that I see this is that this is a new character and a new story, but with the same like sort of similar vibes that you would come to expect from Little Nightmares, I suppose. Which is fine by me, that's cool. I have a shoe. Oh, shoes of dead adults that have been chucked in a sack. Hmm. 
Okay, a lot of death in this forest. Interesting. Point of no return, let's go! Well, there's, there's no, uh, there's certainly no ominous or foreboding signs in the forest so far. I think we're okay. Everything looks peaceful. Uh, we're going to try and not get trapped in this thing, if possible. <laughs> we're going to try and not get crushed by that thing by activating a tripwire. <gasps> oh, I just realized that as soon as I went over the, the tripwire, I was like, oh, this could have been one of those traps where it's like a bunch of fake leaves and then you fall into a pit. And I walked right over it without even thinking until it was too late. Tries to avoid one trap and potentially falls into another. So it's, it's breaking us in nice and slowly by getting us familiar with how to play the game again. Yeah, I was I was very very impressed uh, with that is a spider. <laughs> it looks like a spider leg. It, I was like, oh, I got crushed by a tree drop. I I got like limbo vibes for a second there. It, like there looked like a giant spider leg that was like hairy, and then I just thought we could go back and look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Killed. We're off, to, we're off to a great start here. Yeah. The first part of the game where you can die, and uh, we are indeed dying. Sprint, goddammit. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was really blown away with the with the first game, uh, with how it like pulls you in more and more, and it just continues to escalate as you go through the game. Uh, so I expect something similar here. But yeah, for, for some reason I was like, why Why do I get giant spider vibes? There was like a part of the tree that just looked like there were like hairs on like a giant spider leg. Total limbo moment. <laughs> but no. Just a giant tree trunk going to destroy me. And then a noose just hanging out in the forest. Okay. Just getting a feel for what's up ahead, because it looks like we have to go through this tree trunk. Do a bit of swanging. Oh, that, that, that's fine. <laughs> that's, uh, okay. That's not how that was meant to go. Did not grab onto the rope. Let's try that again once more with feeling. Thank you. Oh, almost didn't make it. Gotcha. Easy. Not as easy. The use of the depth of, of depth of field in these types of games is always like really immersive. I love it. Oh, we're dead. Okay. I was gonna try and go see if I could make a drop onto. Ah, oh, hang on. I think I can. Ah, oh, there's a rope. There it is. Okay. There's a rope. No. Yeah. Rope. Not scaling. Okay, maybe not. I'm just jumping. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> For some reason, the the depth just really messed with me there. I thought it was directly underneath, so I ran over to try and curl underneath. Didn't need to. It's getting very ominous all of a sudden, as if it wasn't at the start. More ominous. music chiming in. Oh. Okay. 
Why is it every time I see a every time I see like a leaf pile now, I'm like panicking. Yeah, look, you can see it. I can see it in the in the floor. <laughs> it's a leaf trap. <laughs> and there's also a log related trap as well. Okay. Um, ah, that's what the shoes are for. Nice. That's okay. That's clever. Use the shoe to trigger the trap. Nice. Oh, it wasn't a leaf one. It was a a net one. Okay. Same, same premise, really. Same deal. You ain't gonna get me that easily. That's a bear trap. <laughs> There's multiple bear traps. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's great. Oh god. Oh, and now they're hidden in the leaves far out. I can see spikes. Yeah, well, I can see him, dude. Why are they setting them so close to each other? Let's take a couple with me as a souvenir. One right, hang on. Let me get there. Oh, actually, it's probably not a smart idea at all, is it? <laughs> Dangerous. Just wanted to get rid of that one. Just in case. Ooh. Oh, that would have set off the trap. <laughs> Interesting. What are they putting in the cages? What are they putting in the cages? You I want to say children or animals, but it's probably knowing this game, probably children. Oh, this is very familiar imagery. Like how the kitchen's set up, very similar to the <laughs> uh, to like the one in the first game, just having the light on the table in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have that. Just making a bit of noise here. Hope no one's home. Playing the music from the first game. The music's coming from down here. Let's take a look around before we go downstairs then. I 
can see in that room. <laughs> There's someone in there. I can see behind the door. It's my uh, superpower. Oh! Equip collected hats! Oh my god, we have different hats. It's a gnome hat, right? That's the gnome hat. Oh my god. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, I have a face. Nice. That's my character. Interesting. So you start off as a paper bag man. And now I've got... Animal hat. Cool. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. Any time. drawn on the wall. Radiating light has got like uh, tally marks on the wall. Got a knock on the door, get his attention. Oh, there's a fucking... That's... Here's Johnny instead. <laughs> oh. <sighs> fucking <laughs> chop your way through the wall. Knock, knock. Sir? Okay. Let's check in here. Uh-huh. Child prisoner? Alright, we're literally gonna just fucking chop this door down. Are we rescuing him? Here's Johnny! Yeah. Yeah. What's up, baby? I know it was quite an entrance, but like, we'll be okay. Let's be friends. Takes his chance to escape and goes for it. Huh, it's got the eye symbol on it. I don't think I can. I can't. I can't use it, but I can pick it up. So the house is going to come into play. We freed the child. Now what? Is someone behind that door? Okay, it's open now. Yo, go ahead. Oh. Oh. There's not someone behind that door at all. That's ten times creepier, actually. Hi. You mind if I have some of this moldy cake? Here, you have some of that. You don't need all of that. You, you eat up. Why? What is coming out of your eyeball? Oh. 
climb, damn it. Mm. You need a hand. I got gotcha. you. Let's get that out. Let's get that attic open. I got gotcha. you. You help out. Yeah, teamwork time, kid. Let's go. Oh, someone is here though, because that's 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 big noise. Someone's here, kiddo. Great, creepy attic with the mannequin pieces. Fun. So what does your dad do for a living? Seems a bit crazy. Yeah, tell me about yourself, who are you? Oh, hang on. I need to push this. Do I have a, uh, I have a, I have a teammate now. Who can help me push and interact with things? Nice. I have an AI companion. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's go. Alright. Um, that is potentially a real hanging body, most likely. Jesus, okay. Oh, okay. Key. Uh, there's a winch slot. Ah, you're gonna help me, you're gonna help lift me up? Yeah, nice. Okay, I like this. This is, this is cool. Little Nightmares 2. They need to take it literally, like, with two characters. Are you real? <laughs> are you sleeping? Are you real? Are you fake? I don't know what's real anymore, dude. All the smashed mirrors make me think of the first game as well. Oh, God. Jesus. Disgusting. Got it. <laughs> okay. You gonna do it, then I'll get the key? No, I'm gonna do Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's this instead. Okay. Gotcha. Nope. Fucking how's this gonna work? Oh, nice. Okay. That's how that is gonna work. Nice, I don't have to hold on to the key, I pocket it, thank god. Alright, um... What are we, where are we using the key? Where are we using the key? Let's go back and find out. Oh, it's the padlock that was just underneath here, wasn't it? Yes. Someone's in this house somewhere. I'm scared to find out who. Easy. Ooh. Alright. Big boot prints. It's a hunter of some kind. More bed traps, cages, like bird houses, types of things, like then like more than you could ever imagine. Plus the little plus the hat. Except it wouldn't fit. An adult. I don't know where my friend went, but he was struggling to get up here. Great. Yep, and skinning the animals. Ooh.
Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh my god. No he has a no hesitation! No hesitation, just I'm gonna shoot these kids. Holy shit. Kid, no. Stop poking out in the light. No, no, no. It's not safe, dude. Oh. I'm holding hands. This is not good. Are you fucking joking me? The hunter. It's a good thing he didn't place any bear traps on this side of the house. They're all on the other side <laughs> with all of the dead creepy people. There's a hole there. That's gotta be our way out. Turn around man, we're already we've already escaped. We've already gone through the hole. We're not here. Fuck, we're supposed to do this. Yeah. Oh god, don't let him shoot in the hole, man. Oh, yep. I was like, don't let him shoot in the hole. Fucking hell. <laughs> Stressful. The hunter. Okay. Well, me and this kid are becoming best friends after this. We are surviving life and death. High five. I need, yeah, I need, I need help, bro. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Trust. God. <laughs> Significant amount of trust in, uh, in the strength of this child. What? Okay. He's still around. Kid! <laughs> Kid! <laughs> Kid! You're gonna get seen. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, why aren't you sprinting? Oh! <laughs> God, no! God, get in, dude. Ah! Holy shit. This is nuts. 
Oh, the water. <laughs> oh man. Now it's time to hide in the sludge. But we can only hide for a limited amount of time because it's sludge. I'm still behind the tree trunk. That kid's fucking dead. And then I... Uh, oh no! Oh shit. Uh, how did he survive that? He just like walked right out into the open. I was still behind the tree trunk as far as I was aware, but that's fine. Got a, he's got a keen eye, this one. Can't put it... Nothing gets past this guy. Suit's fucked. Those aggressive stomps. in the tree. Oh, we're pushing it. This will go well, I'm sure. Do we need something else? I think we need something else. We need the tree trunk to go down as a distraction slash cover for getting shot, but for some reason it just won't. Do you just have to keep wriggling it? Eventually it works. Okay, to go back to skin and animals, man. You can you can leave us be. Oh, I got shot. I thought I might have been behind the the box in time. <laughs> Run! Fuck it. Fuck it. We ball. Two of us to do this. Oh my god.
Holy shit. We just killed we just killed the guy. Presumably. These kids got a kill count now. <laughs> Holy shit. That was nuts. What we gotta do to survive, I guess. Ooh, there you go. That was the that was the start of the game. That was pretty. That was an intense encounter. My God. And now it's just I nowhere to go but straight ahead, I suppose. When life is that bleak and desolate that it's just like anywhere but where we were. Even if it means sailing out into the unknown on a door. Just going where the waves take us. Who's putting TVs in the water though? Finally, like, fades in through the fog. Oh, shit. Ugh! The fuck? What the fuck? Ecstatic creature resembling the shape of a person that just disappeared. What the hell? That was weird. Civilization. Civilization. Okay. Interesting. That was a great setup. That was a great setup. That first, that first opening. I was just been like, just been like very intensely focused on this already. <laughs> So I'm just like, ah! <laughs> like, so many stressful situations. I really like uh, that there is a second character with you uh, to help you out with things. It's, uh, that's really neat. I, I like that a lot. I like how the, yeah, how this game has begun. It sucks you in immediately. Like, there's just something about the presentation of, um, of games like this that just really kind of absorb you uh, into, 
the world and the story that they're telling it's all got to do with that atmosphere that really just you get really soaked in it and it's and it's amazing so uh, that'll be our first episode of little nightmares 2 uh, just the intro and beginning of the game so thank you so much for watching uh, the introduction to this series hope you enjoyed the first episode and i'll see you next time for more <laughs>